Okay, so this is the bridge from vlog 74. I usually wouldn't do this, but I just um, felt like I talked a lot about this product throughout the weekend and the week and where this 74 and 75, vlog 74 and 75 kind of uh, are separated. You, I start talking about this product a lot in this vlog and I feel like it's not mentioned by name and it's the OGX Flexible Beeswax Texture Spray. So when you start the next clip, it'll be the same the first day I put this in, but in the afternoon. So I'm just like updating you. I'm sorry, I couldn't like, I didn't intend I'm filming two vlogs, but there was just so much footage I figured might as well. And if you're bored, you're bored and you don't watch, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, wanted to ooh, do a little check-in with the hair. Isn't it still so pretty? Oh, I love it. And I know sometimes you guys may think, oh, okay, well, her hair looks a certain way, but I can tell the difference. Like the last time when we did something like this, it was the the Way Wave Spray, and I thought that was pretty. I think this is prettier for my hair uh, because all Wave Sprays tend to have like, I don't want to say crunchy, but they definitely, to kind of hold your hair in that style, there is something that holds it, right? And it doesn't necessarily feel nice. This doesn't feel like I have anything in my hair. Any kind of like beach sprays, wave sprays, they always, you can feel the product a little. This one, I don't feel it. Like when they say flexible hold, at least for me and my hair, I mean, it could easily weigh someone else's hair down, but my hair is very dry and coarse. So product never really absorbs, it just kind of sits on top and I love it. I love it, love it. Um, so wait. Hold on. <coughs> it's been, it's what, three o'clock now. So three, four, five, six hours, five or six hours since I've like done my hair. Ooh, the sun, but I think it's really pretty. Oh, we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna use it every day this week and see how it goes. Or that's only if I curl my hair every day, but you know, love it. So far, I love it. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Oh, I hope you don't hear the, I have clothes in the washer, but Seven o'clock, right? We still love this. I went out for dinner a little bit, came home, you know, wandered around outside. I love this. This hair stuff is awesome. I think this like spray wax texture is what my hair needs to kind of, you know, I just super love. It's awesome. I also like this lighting. It makes me look more tan, probably because the sun is setting, but Checking in. Also gonna go work out, thus this, and I'm not moving the camera lower. I haven't put a bra on yet, but probably can't show you past this because after I work out, it'll be like really gross. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe we'll check in. Post-workout, did it make it? I don't think so. Let's see. So when I work out, I don't know if you, about you guys, I remove all of my face makeup because I don't know, I'm afraid of clogged pores and I remove, you know, lashes and everything too, so. Oh, this is so gross. It's like it's stuck to my body. <sighs> okay. All right. <sighs> oh, gross, gross, gross. It's just the feeling. Maybe the hair looks awesome. <sighs> it doesn't look awesome. But it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible. <sighs> okay, so. <sighs> I'm still, I'm still giving it a win. Okay, I have to go put it back up, but good job. Okay, maybe this doesn't look super appetizing, but it's uh, stir-fried okra, some red onion, and garlic, and egg. Yes, I know, I love stir-fried vegetables. I can like stir-fried green beans, just, I don't know, stir-fry is yum. Again, I get it, not cute. Actually, it looks like alien food, yeah. Okay, it's Monday morning and uh, this is the second day I reapplied the beeswax. I can't remember the name of it, but let's see if it layers well because it's one thing to layer a more dry product on top of a dry product, things get drier. So this is like, I don't wanna say sticky, but uh, it still looks really good, but let's see how it wears, like how it layers. It layers fine now, everything looks so pretty. It's so interesting to me how hair products work because something like this I would think would continually just weigh my hair down and even yesterday it seemed fine. And today, 
we'll see how today goes but I'm like very feeling it so I'm gonna try <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna try and check in later on today maybe at the end of the day although I don't know today might be a long day tonight tonight might be one of those really long nights at least it's summer so there's still tons of sun some of the plans have started to come together for what me and Andrew are going to do when I visit I'm so excited and you know I wanted to share it before I've planned this trip for like maybe around a month well I mean more than a month we've been talking about it but I like bought my ticket maybe a month ago and I just I had mentioned it in some vlogs before but I think I cut the footage because it was a part of part of clips that I just had to delete because it wasn't like whatever that was kind of boring but you know how when summer hits and you you feel like refreshed and reinvigorated like oh the seasons have changed and you feel like more alive I did not get that this year so I want to say maybe in the past week I've been feeling like so much happier which is good um, and I got some good news yesterday so so we'll see how that all pans out I'll share it with you guys like later on in the year but pretty excited I'm also super excited for the prospect of seeing fireworks I haven't seen fireworks in a really long time so I'm hoping Andrew uh, comes up with something fun even if we watch it from the rooftop of his building oh my god that would be so fun I wonder if his his place will have like a thing oh my god I'm so excited I'm just so excited I can't even just thinking just imagining I'm excited oh and anything that you guys want us to do or talk about or address let us know we will totally I don't know I don't know what videos we have planned because this is like a much more not that our time usually isn't relaxed but there's like a beauty event typically this is like literally like um just like an us thing so uh i'm sure we'll eat and there'll be makeup but i for one need a vacation like very badly uh and he i know has been working pretty hard but he has a break now so it's exciting for him okay so it's 9 30 at night just got home uh hair right okay yeah so between <laughs> this is why i should not vlog this is why i don't vlog after work um oh so yesterday's workout probably affected it a little and i just got rained on before i got in the car i don't know can we see can you guys see oh that was that's not good can you guys see oh i don't know if this is like the best way maybe this is better hair still looks good but it's super flat on top however i didn't put any dry shampoo in there today and i did not put any powder it was just like kind of redid some of the curls and put the spray in so i don't know i don't think the hair is really that way down the product would definitely fare better without having been rained on and or worked out in so if you have a more sedentary lifestyle i think that the product would be great <sighs> i'm so tired i seriously oh I hate coming home from work and essentially just going straight to bed. It's like my least favorite. Anyway, yeah, so I figured I'd, I, that's like a full on check-in. I'll probably have to wash my hair. And, um, yeah. Okay, good morning. It is, um, Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, I vaguely remember vlogging last night, which I don't do. I don't vlog at night, but so I get home around like 9.30ish. I was definitely in bed by like 9.50, 9.45. Yeah, it's like makeup off in bed. And the problem is, you know, when you're really tired, um, I'm in Canada, I know it's a bad. When you're really tired and you can't fall asleep, so I probably say I went to bed around maybe 11, like fell asleep, and then woke up at 4.30 to pee, and I've been up ever since, and it's like 8.20 right now. It's gonna be a long day. Someone's removing a tree. Anyway, let me just, the hair, I put dry shampoo in it today because it's gross. I don't know how many days it's been since I've washed my hair. I washed my hair, 
Was it Friday night or Saturday night? One of those nights I washed my hair, so it's been a while. You guys think I'm gross? I think I'm gross. I'm not doing anything about it though. Okay, so I have so much new makeup on and I really love it. Was this blurry the whole time? I'm sorry. I have like Misha things I'm obsessed with. I have a Kevin Aquan thing. I have YSL stuff I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get that. Maybe there will be two parts of this vlog. Maybe there'll be two vlogs this week. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I've vlogged a lot. Okay. So totally was gonna vlog when I got home and totally did not and pulled into the garage. Like, not that this does make a difference. I don't know. Okay, so today's Thursday and I have not packed for New York yet. Um, it is about 6.30. I got home at 6.30 yesterday and today. This is mail. What else did I get? Oh, I went to CVS because this morning I was using my Lash Sensational. This is my favorite mascara. Um, and it was dry and I always have backups, but I didn't have a backup of this. So... I looked at the CVS app and it was like, if you bought two Maybelline eye products, you got $5 extra bucks. And then I've been collecting the $2 coupons from <laughs> Ulta and I had $5 extra bucks. So I was like, oh, that's like buy one, get one free. Cause they're $8.99 at CVS, but then like a three off 15 printed off. So I got both of them for like six bucks. I was super excited. So that was exciting. Oh, what else? stopped at TJ Maxx because they had these hangers. These are sometimes harder to find. Or not hard to find, but they're hard to find at like a good price. I, like many people, am at a point where I pretty much wear leggings every day. Or right now I wear like harem pants every day. But these hangers, these tiered ones, um, $3.99 for like four tiers is pretty good. I think $2.99 is probably like the best deal I've seen. Or did I get them in bulk one time? I might have. So that, and then we grabbed one of, the, one of those like brush cleaner things. This is like a really pretty green one. I have a pink one from before. I got one for Andrew too. Is this green on the inside? Oh no, <gasps> it's black. Oh my God, even better. So much better. Okay, I'm so into that. What else? I got the mail. Oh, of course, yes. Now there's a CVS coupon. I could have used this probably today. 15% off your purchase, $2 off, and a free nail polish, I don't know, you're invited, luxury card, MasterCard Black, is this still a big deal guys, are the black cards still a big deal, I can't remember, I feel like everyone has one now right, no, I cannot, I do not need more cards, okay, then we have a package here Eek. from cosmetics peptide rich defense moisturizer with SPF 50 oh my god guys you know how much I love the cosmetics opti crystal eye stuff right so this has peptides and SPF 50 I am so and no silicones I'm gonna try this tomorrow. Mm hmm. You guys will hear. I'll let you know. Very excited. Okay. After me and my neighbor awkwardly kind of looked at each other for like two seconds. Okay. So. Whew, it's like, okay, I don't know how to do my hair. I didn't curl it today, so we can't like lay here seductively with beautiful curls with, you know, looking romantic. But um, I figured I would vlog, actually vlog vlog, because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Um, plus, a lot of this vlog I feel like is in the car, so I'm giving you a different perspective. So it's Thursday morning, it's about 11 o'clock, and I get to work this morning, and it's like, oh, do you guys see this? bump here has been here for like three days and it kind of hurts I feel like it's cystic acne like a little one tiny one but like there's nothing in it it's just painful which I guess what cystic acne is anyway so um get to work there's no power 
I checked the map on my phone. It says it looks like it'll be back at like 9.30. So like in an hour, not a big deal. So I go home, come home like right now and I check um, to get my lunch. Wow, I can't even speak. I came home to get my lunch and so I forgot it. Then I'm about to head back to work. I checked the map again and it says that it's not gonna come back until 11.30. So right now it's about 11. And so in the meantime, I edited vlog 74, which is up while this vlog is also up. I put both of these vlogs up at the same time and I also, you know, edited a bit of whatever this, whatever I filmed for this vlog. Um, I haven't packed yet for New York. Uh, I'm usually someone that is really on top of shit. Like, I'm a planner. I like knowing what's happening. I mean, I can do, I'm like easy going when it's like, with other people but like for me when it's just me i'm like this will be done this will be done this will be done this will be done i don't try to like impose my way on other people because you know not everyone's different but like for me i, I feel like i should have been packed by now um so i have to do that and i feel like maybe i'll pack like workout clothes because andrew works out and i feel like i okay Let's go into this backstory. You guys want to hear it? I feel like this is like what real vlogging is. What I do is like vlogging. I guess you can't really define vlogging, but like um, anymore because there's like really like super edited and stylized vlogs. And I'm like, I get that that's like really cool and it feels very cinematic. But to me, the essence of vlogging is just holding a camera and like talking to the camera. But I feel like as people get like so much more... I don't know, whatever. I'm not tech savvy like that. Or how about this? I could be, but I like the kind of, oh my God, this is so ugly. Why didn't I curl my hair today? Oh, because I didn't know I was gonna vlog like this. Whatever, tangent. So workout clothes, I'm probably packed because we're gonna be eating, obviously, oh, sorry, a lot of, oh my God, there was something in there. That's why it was so itchy, it was like a dog hair. Um, eating a lot of food, none of which will be healthy. It'll either be like desserts or like fried foods most likely and then so i am at a point i want to say a month ago was when it was like at it's like worse i felt fat and i i hate using that term like that but like skinny fat you know like whatever it is that's out of your comfort zone so i was out of my comfort zone absolutely like it could not be more out of my comfort zone i want to say it started around like november where i was kind of like eh, you know things could be so much better right now and then in february it really hit me i was like okay Whatever I had been depending on, i.e. my metabolism or genetics or whatever it is, they were kind of like, no bitch, you must now participate in this, you know, if you want to look good, you need to work at it and can't just, you know, do nothing. And I've been doing nothing for so long, but now I actually feel like I need, like I eat healthy, like I eat pretty healthy, but like if you've been watching the vlogs, I've been eating so many more vegetables, just trying to like really like clean up the diet a little bit. And that makes a huge difference. Um, and I had also kind of fallen off that thing of like not eating after like six or seven. So I've been doing that for about a month where I'm just like not, it makes such a huge difference, just like what you eat. And then I feel like the physical part of it is like, I know that people say the physical part of it is so minimal compared to what you put in your body. But for me, my body, my siblings, all of us, respond so quickly to physical activity. So I wanna say in the past like two weeks maybe, I've been doing the Jillian Michaels again, like the 30 day shred. I'll just like pick a level and I'll do it or I'll do like her ab workout. I'll just like pick any one of her videos and just do it like a few times a week. And the body is back to being like what I like. Now I have to maintain this now because I'm one of those people where like once I'm like back to where I'm comfortable, I just kind of stop, which is not really the best way to be. I did re-dye my hair like a couple days ago so it's looking pretty good I kind of I really like it but I just wish it looked more attractive but I don't want to I don't have a tripod ready and I don't um I wanted to lay down but I also wanted to vlog I also wanted to nap but I was like no vlog don't nap this isn't a bad angle I don't even care I'm just like any angle but me sitting in front of those plants or like me in the car I feel like maybe you guys get sick of the like three places that i vlog but i mean that is my life and during the week it's a lot of car vlogging because i don't i haven't I, have, I don't do anything anymore like it's just work come home work come home work come home if i get home if i get off work slightly early then i can go to 
some place, maybe, to run an errand. Do we like my triple neck? Someone mentioned that you can get Botox to eliminate these lines. I am like totes considering it. If you guys have any other ideas, cause I really, I don't like them. Okay, so it is now two o'clock. I went back to work, had lunch with my dad. Still no electricity. They kept moving at 9.30, 11.30, 1.30, So I'm home now. Work has been canceled. I technically have this whole day now. <laughs> Sorry, one of my neighbors drove up. It was awkward. Okay, so now I definitely need to pack for New York. So, because tomorrow I'm going to have to stay late. I did not want. My plan was to work really hard today, not have to stay Friday, and then have a relaxing Friday night, and then Saturday morning and get on the plane in the afternoon. But, I mean, whatever, now now it's whatever it is. This is all so fine. Good morning. Okay, so we are going to do a little purchases and PR. I don't know, should we do purchases first? Okay. If you have been to TJ Maxx, you should go. Or if you haven't, you should go. Impressions Vanity is, I feel like a lot of people know this company. They're like kind of the go-to company for those like vanity lights, vanity mirrors, um, Alex Draw organization. Um, so I found this at my TJ Maxx. I think these usually run for 29, 30 bucks. It's one of these like slotted organizers. This one has like smaller compact slots here and then this you can either put palettes or like larger compacts. Um, I don't have Alex drawers for organization, but you know how when you have your vanity and you're doing your makeup and then it's clean, right? But then over time you start, I start having like this mountain range that um, forms like here's a stack of compacts and here's like a stack of eyeshadows and like just becomes this kind of like range of mess. So I think something like this maybe will help me contain the clutter a little bit better because everything will be standing up and it won't be on top of each other. A, so it doesn't like slide off. Um, to prevent breakage and then it's just maybe easier maybe I don't know they also had the mirrors um, at my TJ Maxx they had like the smaller versions of the mirror with like you know the studio lights and I think it was like 159 I don't know what the original price of those are and then they had like the smaller light up mirrors for $16.99 like the little cute little LED ones so if they ever do, I really want to get one of the really, really big ones, like this, not the Slay Station, but the mirror, like the biggest mirror with the lights. Oh, I really want that. Like, and I want it to be like all mirror, you know, and you just see the bulbs, you don't see like a frame, if that makes any sense. I showed this to you earlier. It's the Cosmetics Peptide Rich Defense Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. My issue with SPF is A, I don't wear it that often, and I should be, and I need to. And then the once I get different SPFs, the reasons why I don't wear them are A, they have dimethicone. Um, even before I realized my skin was like allergic to it, I just didn't like it because uh, it felt like ir irritating to my skin. So I never really broke out from it, but like it felt irritating, so I never really liked it. Two, my makeup wouldn't sit on it properly. So that's another thing. And three, they always felt, they didn't feel good against the skin. So I always would opt for a primer or a moisturizer instead of using sunscreen because it didn't feel good and it didn't, makeup didn't sit on it the right way. This stuff, first of all, peptides, love peptides. You can definitely use it with other like active ingredients, i.e. glycolic acid or retinol, things that typically you find you cannot use together, you can layer it with this. The best part of this for me, besides it being SPF 50, is it goes on so smooth. And that's a personal preference. Maybe some people are just like, I just need some protection. I don't care how it goes on, how it feels. I need it to like feel good. Otherwise I just, I never reach for it again. This stuff goes on like a really luxe moisturizer. It's not heavy, it's thin, it blends out so easily, makeup layers really beautifully on top of it. On top of that, this pump on here, it distributes such a beautiful amount of product. It's like, I can do two to three pumps, four pumps if I really wanna go all the way down my neck. There, you know when you discover brands and it's just like, it melds with like your philosophy, like your beauty philosophy, your beauty preferences. I feel like Cosmetics is this brand for me because you guys saw the review, I'll link it below, of the OptiCrystal 
liquid crystal eye serum. I have not used a single eye product, skincare wise, outside of that since receiving that. It, it was just so beautiful. And this go-to moisturizer. Like I, again, haven't used any other moisturizer besides this since I received it. And you guys know how I am with PR. I'm always really honest. And when I work with brands, I, you need to be able to find the brands that are like, hey, I really love this product. And then sometimes, hey, I didn't really love this product. And then they still continue to kind of, you know, work with you and send stuff for you to review. And those are the brands you want to work with. That's kind of an aside. But because I haven't disliked anything from cosmetics yet, but this, I am so happy I've discovered this brand. It's so good. Next up from YSL, we have this eye smoker. It's an eye duo smoker in number four. I believe it's called Smoky Burgundy. I just love their names. This is called Smoky Burgundy. That shock, the shock mascara that I had was called Rough Burgundy. I mean, such a cute name. So this has two ends. Now, again, when do I ever do my makeup without using like a crayon or colored base? I should say colored base, but they're typically crayons because they're easier. So you have like, I don't know if you can really see this. It's like this brown purple, purple brown plum. We'll call it plum. It's not burgundy in that like there's a lot of red to it. And then the other side is shimmery. I think this comes in like an array of four different shades. I just chose this one because it's like, the colors I use most often. So those are swatches. I have it on today. I have it on as my base. This, I would say, blends out super, super easy. However, if you want it to, how do I explain this? If you apply this straight to your lids and then you blend it out, you don't get, um, you can use it as a base. It doesn't necessarily create like this like opaque base, but if you apply it, and then you let it sit on there for maybe 30 seconds, then you blend it out, you'll get like a more opaque base. So I like that it's very kind of, if the word malleable, like you can make it do what you want it to do. Apply it on your lids and then immediately blend it out. Very light base for eyeshadow. But if you want to wear it as eyeshadow, apply it, let it sit for a little bit and then blend it out. And then you've got like this like perfect base, this kind of like no fuss base because it's not powdery. Lastly is this Neo Highlighter in the shade Sahara from Kevin O'Quan. Now, you get 21 grams of product in here. This is like all like fingerprint tea because I've been using it. I have one of the shades on today and I still have my original candlelight highlighter from way, way back in the day, i.e. it's not even in this like new packaging. It's like in the old like burgundy packaging that was kind of lightweight. I like just have refused to get rid of it. It's probably, how old am I? It might be 10 years old. It's possible. I know, right? Horrible. But I loved it. I never got rid of it. So you have this gradient highlighter situation, 21 grams. Again, did I say that? I'm still like, when you look at really high-end brands and you're like, oh my God, that's like so much money. But the amount of product, typically, I'm not saying brands across the board do this, but a lot of the luxury brands will give you so much product. In this gradient highlighter you have three shades this over here is candlelight in the center you have starlight and near the end is sahara i have candlelight as i said i had bought starlight but i ended up selling it because i think i got it during the winter and it was like a little too dark on me also i think my preferences were different because now i love kind of having a blended highlighter versus a super super bright one and then this is sahara which is like a little bronzy Okay, I swatched these out of sequence for you. I'm so sorry, but this is candlelight. Oh, and do not look at the nails. They will be done this evening. This is starlight, and this is Sahara. I think the natural sunlight is not allowing you to see how beautiful these are. Back in the day, I would wear candlelight. And you know when you have like a really good makeup day, and you keep catching yourself in the mirror because you're like, oh my God, this looks amazing. Candlelight was that highlighter for me. It was like MAC Hush, like cream color base, and then like Kevin O'Quan Candlelight. I do have it on today. Maybe now that the light has changed a little bit, you can see I have it on the heights of my cheekbones. I have it down the center of the nose. Uh, any glow you see is from this highlighter. Not here, that's me, that's my natural shine. <laughs> but it's so pretty.
Like seriously, do you see that? Like how gorgeous. Can you really like come on? There's not there's like no window here, so you won't see it as much, but like gorgeous, right? Unlike a lot of other powder highlighters that like really kind of have an amplified highlight like this you can build up like you can have it be really soft and pretty apply it with like a fan brush or you can like go in with a denser brush and i don't find that this magnifies any of your if you have like larger pores or what a lot of us get here is like texture because we tend to put more makeup on here right if it's like a concealer that goes all the way up here or if it's bronzer or highlight blush this area of your face kind of gets pounded with makeup sometimes and this doesn't accentuate any kind of like situation you might have there so that's always really nice because we all love makeup we want to wear all the products but sometimes you're like you really have to be less is more in order to let your skin look better you know what i'm saying but super great highlighter on to purchases i had mentioned i picked up another tom ford traceless perfecting foundation now these are both in the shade natural um this is mine i picked up last year Oh, where am I swatching this? I picked up this bottle last year, maybe in May. This one I picked up, you know, last week. Tell me, oh my god, I'm just wasting foundation like it's nothing. Do you see the difference? This is the one, my older one, and this is my newer one. They're very different in shade. This natural is so much lighter. So I had mentioned I was going to pick up shade 4 because it was lighter, but it's now already lighter. I think when I was at a Tom Ford counter sometime last year maybe like somewhere in between summer and fall and i remember the girls saying that they were going to change the shades so to pay attention to your shades so the shade that you always thought you have been in most time for foundations is going to be different so i don't know if that shade difference took place because my natural my original natural in 05 is like NC30 ish, whereas now the natural I think is maybe NC 25, 27 ish, um, which is perfect for me. Like, if this is the shade change, I am super excited because this is kind of where I fall into. I never necessarily want to get something that's NC30 because I'm probably only that dark for maybe like a month to a month and a half, like at my darkest during any time of the year. So NC 2527 is kind of like a happy place for me. So I do have this on and I like it because I've lost whatever tan I had. And if I do get a little more tan, it'll still match me. So I'm like all about this. Random sharing, Forever 21. Um, I went last night to kind of just, I don't know, browse. I got this necklace. Do we like it? This necklace and this bottom one came in a set, which I'm super into, and it has like a bit of a bar on the bottom. I like when necklaces, when wide necklaces do that because it gives it some weight and it anchors the necklace a little bit. And then this one here is a tiered necklace. It's like three necklaces, and this I bought maybe like last month or something. But I was in the clearance section. Look at these. Are these not gorgeous? They're like these faux Safiano like wallets. How gorgeous, right? Sometimes I just want something to put like my receipts or to just hold stuff, but I don't want it to be bulky. Something like this is gorgeous. Okay, so it says like, it says Forever 21 in there, but then it has like this, no, another pocket and you can keep like six cards. No, no, let's count properly. You can keep like four cards in there. I love this. They're gorgeous. Now, I had seen these before and I was like, oh, those are really pretty, but I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy them. They were originally $9.90. They were marked down to $3.99, but then it was like 50% off clearance or sale or whatever. I got these for $1.99. I am so excited. And then I picked up this case. Again, another case I'd seen before. They have Forever 21. I feel like it's like the best place for cosmetic bags or toiletry bags, whatever you want a bag for that's kind of cool, kind of cute, go to Forever 21. This one was marked down to... Originally $6.90, then $2.99. No, I got it for $1.50. I mean, I love it. It's so cute. I'm probably going to just put my jewelry. I like more structured bags like this when I travel and I put like jewelry in it or what else do I put in it? Mainly jewelry because I like there to be like a little bit of padding. And then like the print on this was just like so alluring. Like I couldn't stop looking at it. They also have tons and tons of like holographic type bags. So go to your Forever 21. Okay, so let me take that back. I think Forever 21 is the best place for cosmetic bags, but only when they're on sale. Otherwise, I feel like they're kind of pricey, you know, because you know the markup on stuff like this is like 
so high. Okay, the sun has come out. It was super gloomier before, but now the sun is like in my face. Now, I put in a Misha order because they did 40% off. I haven't picked up Misha in a while. Um, first off, I got a couple brushes. I got another one of those 101 artist tool, like those teardrop brushes, the kind of oval brushes because so hard to get a hold of. And I think during the sale, there were maybe like eight, maybe eight bucks, eight, nine, ten, whatever. No, it had to be like eight or nine because that's the right price. And then I picked up this Easy Blending Shadow Brush. I thought this brush was discontinued. I was concerned and I was like always looking for dupes and I couldn't find one and I'm so happy because this is like an everyday like smoky eye brush for me. So now I have another one and I'm so excited. It's so soft. I picked up a whole bunch of their eyebrow razors. If you shave your face, hands down, this is the best one. I have tried so many. These are the best. And there's another element of it where I feel like when I use this one, the hair grows back so much slower. This is the shape of it. It is smaller and shorter than your typical eyebrow razor. The ones I see generally in the market are a little bit longer. This is good because A, if you actually do use it for your eyebrows, it's more precise. You don't want to accidentally knock off part of your eyebrow, okay? Secondly, um, another tip in general, you don't have to buy this eyebrow brush, eyebrow razor to do your brows or to shave your face. Buy the ones that are not retractable. There are ones that you can like fold for like better storage or safer storage. Those I feel, as far as going down your face or across your face when you're shaving it, they don't have as much... How do I explain it? Like there's a better grip on ones that don't retract. You know what I'm saying? Like they feel sturdier and it's like more precise. So I don't know if you're into that kind of thing. These are like the most excellent razors. My final purchase from Misha is this. It's the Ital Prism Modern Shadow Collection. This is in the shade Cozy Stage. There are two shades. There's one more purpley pinky version and this is the like kind of the warmer kind of burgundy brownish shades. I'm obsessed with this. This probably released last year. I want to say last year or the year before, more last year. When it first came out, I looked at it and I saw it and I was like, I want that. But then I looked at the price. Depending on where you're buying, anywhere from here to there, there as in Asia, I've seen it go for $65 all the way up to $75. And I'm like, that is crazy. Not that I haven't purchased something that expensive before makeup wise, but like not in like an eyeshadow palette with like six shades. And then I looked up to see how much product you're getting. You're getting 1.1 grams of each shadow. 6.6 .6 grams of product in here for anywhere from 65 to $75. Now that is a like crazy huge pricing. Like, I don't know, or like YSL quads like that. But YSL, I mean, their shadows are not that great anyway. So when I was looking at this, I was like, I'm not doing that. So I just like held off, even with like, a discount I was like it's still not worth it but then since it's been on the Misha website the US website any of you guys who shop there agree right stuff takes forever to get to the US Misha site so with the 40% I think this ended up being 36 or 37 dollars which I was able to stomach not for 6.6 .6 grams of product but I kept watching reviews and reading like blog reviews and watching videos and I was like okay I'm just gonna splurge and get this it's gorgeous. I've had it for about a week. I love it. I love it so much. So you have these three shades here which are a little more metallic and shimmery and then these that are more matte. These are so my shades. Okay so we'll swatch kind of like the matte section first. They are so smooth, so blendable. I am like like, do you see this? These are the swatches of like the shimmery shades, but they're not like, okay, yeah, they're not metallic, they're shimmery. Oh, so pretty, I can't, I can't even. Look at that. Those are the two matte shades. Um, and that's like beautiful in the crease, obviously. This is like inner corner, but when you put in the inner corner, it's not even like pigment, it just looks like shine and it's so pretty and then of course of course ugh, these are like my shades you have this like burgundy you have this kind of this goes more bronze on the lids i would say or it could be the bases i use and then that's like a darker something something you can use in the lash line so gorgeous i 
I'm not recommending this to you at the original price. If you can get it on sale, grab it. It is so stunning. I have this in the crease, like a combination of these two in the crease today. This like closer to the lash line and this on the lid. Can we see it? It creates like a really soft look, but so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm taking this to New York with me, hands down. And then, of course, whenever you buy from Misha, they give you all these. I have this Misa Cho Gong Jin set. Like this little box set. I'm sorry, guys, the sun. But like, look how cute. You have like a little face cream in this like, how cute is this packaging? Like, so adorable, right? And then like... There's like a toner and essence and emulsion. I mean, just all cute, cute things. So I'm kind of excited to try that. Two face masks. You have the otter and the fox. Cute. So that concludes this little portion of purchases and PR. I really feel like, should I make that a video? I love the name of it, purchases and PR. Maybe I'm just like into alliteration, whatever. Hope you enjoyed these two vlogs that have come up this week. I will be in New York when you are watching these. No, I will be on a plane to New York. So I'm so excited and there will be a New York vlog and then I will get back from New York on Wednesday. So I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday free because I'm still on vacation, no work. I am so excited. The goals I've set aside are to clean a lot, like massive clear out of a lot of things at home. But the other goal is to maybe film duty videos. We shall see how that goes. That is the goal though. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it might. Okay, so I will talk to you guys soon.